The Daily White House briefing certainly brings some relevant information each time about the federal government's response to the deadly coronavirus pandemic. But the briefings have also become a political tool for President Donald Trump. He uses them both to take credit and to shift blame away from himself for his response to the crisis. Amidst the recent flurry of news made at recent briefings about how or whether to reopen the country, the different phases that might involve and who calls the shots, was a revealing exchange that is emblematic of the president's political strategy ahead of the November election. This was most clearly and cleverly demonstrated in response to a question from Jonathan Carl, of ABC News, who asked Trump for a reaction to protesters in Michigan rallying against stay-at-home restrictions. The president, who earlier in the briefing had lauded American stay-at-home discipline, took a different approach with the Michigan protesters. The president said, well, they've been going through this a long time, John, and it's been a tough process for people. There's death and there's problems staying at home. 2. When Carl pressed further on the protesters' violation of social distancing guidelines, Trump added, I think they listened to me. They seem to be protesters that like me and respect this opinion. As Amber Phillips of the Washington Post observed, instead of taking the opportunity to tell the protesters to stay home, he emphasized with their desire to go back to work. The president then doubled down on the strategy this morning with less subtle tweets saying liberate Minnesota and liberate Michigan and liberate Virginia. It was all a dog whistle of sorts to his supporters that accomplished a couple of things at once. It suggested to them that it was okay to move away from social distancing practices, designed to stem the tide of COVID-19, and get back to a more normal life. And it also told them that if they stuck with social distancing, any suffering and inconvenience they experience is not Trump's fault because he gets them, they speak the same language. He feels their pain. And that messaging is illustrative of the president's overall strategy to get re-elected. He's given himself maximum flexibility to take credit for whatever goes right and maximum ability to deflect or shift any blame for whatever goes wrong. The strategy is part of the dizzying turnaround from the president's position earlier in the week, when he told reporters he had absolute authority, adding the president of the United States calls the shots. Thursday's briefing brought a significant change in tune, with the president bestowing upon the governor's wide authority, reporting that he had told them in a conference call they now call the shots. That was less a constitutional climb down and more a reflection of the president managing his political situation and strategy. The strategy is brilliant in its simplicity. The governors now take the responsibility of all public health decisions in their states as well as when and how to reopen the economy including schools, large gatherings, even professional sports. If they open too soon and the virus spikes in a significant way, they alone are responsible. If they open too slowly, and the economy contracts even further and unemployment continues to rise, they will also have to answer for that. Thanks for watching my video, for getting latest information and videos please subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon.